What up, dogs? Welcome back to Rad V Cells. What's up? In this video, we are. What are we doing? We're collecting all of our uh, sales and we're going to show you how our inventory system works a little bit. Yes, so we'll find the items with you guys. So let's get into the video. So this is what the rad room looks like. We're using shelves and uh, um, to organize all the clothing. It goes by size and also what kind of item it is. So here we got sweatshirts and hoodies. And on the other side, we got t-shirts, pants, long sleeves, and uh, some other things on top here. And uh, more stuff in the middle because we have a lot of stuff. But yeah, let's get into it. So we had 21 sales in total over all the platforms that we use. The first sale we're going to look for is this Minnesota Vikings hoodie. We got this for about $4 at Goodwill. Um, it's a size large, so our large section is right here. Super easy. XL, medium, smalls. So this one was Boom. easy. All right, throw that down. Next up, we have a Carhartt flannel. Right here. This one, 2XL. Boom. This one we paid $4.50 for at Goodwill. Uh, we have a vintage 1970s Marines Do It Best shirt. That should be over there. Here. Here's our small and medium t-shirts. It makes life so much easier when you're organized with your inventory. Yeah. When we first started, we had stuff in trash bags. And we were like, I, <laughs> I think it's over there in that one. All right, next up, we have a Bop It Extreme 2. I picked this up at Goodwill for about $2. It should be in that bin right there, babe, close to the wall. The green one? Yeah. Oh, no, I, oh, oh. This is where we keep like the hard goods and stuff like that. Top. It's almost like I planned it. I right there. <laughs> <laughs> All right, for eBay, this isn't a crazy sale, but it is a woman's sexy lace turtleneck. Oh, yeah. We got this from a, a yard sale. It was like five bucks to fill a bag up, and we got oh, that yeah. with a ton of other items. Boom. Next item up is, oh, we just sold an item. We just sold an item. We just sold what, an item. Uh, Depop. Oh! Uh, next up is the big boy sale. This is a vintage typewriter word processor. Uh, we picked this up at a yard, no, an estate sale yeah. a couple weeks ago. And we paid about $25 for a huge lot of stuff. I like to pre-pack stuff like this just so when we sell it, we could ship it out right away and we ain't got to worry about packaging it up or anything like that. And how quickly did it sell? It sold within an hour <laughs> of listing. And we sold it for 200 plus shipping. All right. And next up is a baseball glove i always look out for these i got this from salvation army uh paid two dollars i took a best offer of eighty dollars plus shipping don't tell me it's in that box oh it's in that box what's in the box <laughs> what's in the box oh. all right yeah, yeah. hey be careful that's eighty dollars yeah She's not a fan of selling hard goods. I am. I don't know how you did this. Oh. Oh, all right. 
while she breaks the entire system there. Next up, football season's coming up. We have a San Francisco 49ers dope hoodie pullover, $34.99, free shipping. Um, this one we got from Goodwill also, paid $4.50 for it. And the worm is working. There we go. She's quick. Quick and efficient. Next up, a vintage Beaver Alumni crew neck sweatshirt, size large gray. Large? Large. Let's see how long it takes her. Bang. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And that wraps up eBay. All right. What we got next? Mercari. Macari, we sold two items, uh, a fitness matching set and then fitness leggings. These two we got for free. This is our little fitness section here. All right, leggings done. And included in that price you've seen on the screen was shipping included, just to make our lives easier on Macari. Uh, and give you better exposure so it shows that you have free shipping it's more likely to pop up in the searches we like to put free uh, shipping so you essentially just bundle it into your price all right is that both pieces no it's one so i've got to find the other one the struggles Let's see if only she was organized oh Right on top. <laughs> Bang. And Macquarie is done and the pile is growing. Awesome. <laughs> Alright, Nat, what we got next? Next, we got Poshmark. Poshmark. Alright, we sold a few on there. First item we got from the bins. This is a PlayStation long sleeve. Uh, probably paid about a dollar for this and the buyer paid $8 plus shipping. Let's see what we got. Boom. Done. Long sleeve section. To the pile. Go Army beat Navy shirt. We got this from, I think, Goodwill. So paid about $250. Buyers paying $25 plus shipping. <clears throat> yeah, it was a pretty cool shirt. Had the big graphic on the back, 2004. So almost considered vintage. Vintage is about 20 years or, uh, yeah, 20 oh. years or longer. 20 years or older. What the heck? It's always the Here. worst when you can't find something. Yeah. And you got to go through all the piles. We take them out and go by. Damn, that's pretty neat. It's dope. It's dope. <clears throat> all right. To the pile. And that's the end of Macari. Or yeah. Poshmark. All right, Poshmark. All right, next up, we got Depop. Whoop, whoop. First sale was a Patagonia vest. This was for 35 plus shipping. Uh, we found this at Goodwill, paid $6 for it. And I'll pay that every damn time for a Patagonia piece. Oh, yeah. Like we said in a pre the previous video, Blah. Patagonia sells. Um, where is it? I know where it is. It's right there, babe. Oh. Well, why is it there? It's in the small section. Yeah, but it's not a sweatshirt, it's a vest. Oh, here we go. Here we go. All right, done. Add it to the list. Next up, we have a gorgeous cream-colored knit sweater. Um, this one, we I think we got this at the bins. No, that one's free. Oh, faux free. Faux free. Faux free. Uh, buyer paid 15 plus shipping. Bang. Next up. Fighting Irish shirt. We got this from Goodwill, paid two fifty. Buyer paid twelve seventy five plus shipping. After fifteen minutes.
We found it. We found it. Oh my god. We don't like that shirt right now. No, get it out of here. <laughs> <laughs> Next order. I like this order. <sighs> this was a good one because this is a um, return buyer. She bought a bundle last time and this time she got another bundle. She wanted six items and it was similar items to what she wanted last time. So I just said, hey, I see you like this and this brand. I have a few more sets unlisted if you want to take a look. She said yes and we sold two more. Awesome. Just like that. Awesome. And wasn't it the two add-ons at the bottom here? Yes. So that's just, an extra sixty-five dollars we made. Yeah. Um, just by asking. Not, just asking. What you can get is a no, because she likes sets. So I'm like, I got more sets for you. I just posted these flat lays, and she's like, those are a must. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, we sold two more items just because of that. Nice. And our cost is what? Pretty much nothing on these. Uh, yeah, they were all no. This one was a bins find. Okay, so, so we a, paid a dollar and some change, not maybe? even a dollar because that one's less than a pound. Awesome. So, this order came out to $250, <sighs> and that's with shipping included and before fees. Yes, correct. She doesn't want to give one up. I was considering keeping this one, that's why I priced it high, and then she still bought it. <laughs> well, the blue set, yes, this one's so cute. So buttery soft. I love this one. It's, it's just a little bit too big on the waist for me. Buttery? Yeah, it is buttery soft. I hate the shorts. Oh, ooga booga. Natalie's pretty talented too. She painted that for me. <laughs> Shh, and this one sold quickly in this set. It's a three piece matching set from X. I had it up for $100. Really? $100. And it was getting so much love. So yeah, go to that. Bang bang. I could get oh, used yeah. to filming. This is uh Yeah, right. This is easy work for me. This one was a donation to us from my little sister and we sold it for eight dollars plus shipping. It was getting mad love. Such a basic little shirt. Right. Very nice. Okay. Right. Easy money. And while Natalie's looking for that in the closet. Oh, look at that dolphin's hat. Oh, um, I just want to give a shout out to my little cousin, my little cousin Cece. She bought these two L.L. Uh, Bean Merino wool sweaters from us. Go, Cece! We love you, C. Bang. Beautiful sweatshirts. We found them at the Goodwill bins, so we got uh, these for about a dollar fifty each. Um, yeah. Wow, oh, found it. Of course, it's in the crop top section. Yeah, but this was also mine before. Then we got some some coats here. I'll show you guys some coats. A little Tweety action. If anybody's trying to pose as a security guard, this is brand new with tags. Little Carhartt. Halloween's coming up. Oh, that's right. actually a good idea. Right. She's just going to throw it back in. How disrespectful. Oh my God, I'm sweating now. Next up, we got NASCAR. 
$16 plus shipping. We got this at a Facebook Marketplace pickup. The lady threw in like four shirts for an extra five bucks. So we'll just say about $1.25 into it. Awesome, awesome graphic on the back. Yes. You showing us the front too or are you just... Uh... Yeah, whenever you pick something up from Facebook Marketplace, ask if they got more. Mm -hmm. You're there. What did we go to pick up the leather jackets? No, the uh, the two NASCAR jackets. That's what I just said. They're not leather. You know what I meant. You know Look, what I meant. I is understand. This is, is this leather to you? Is this not leather? But yeah, we picked this one up and another one that we sold. And I just asked, hey, you got more NASCAR stuff? She goes, yeah. Can I have them? Yeah. <laughs> also. And next up, we got the Nike Travis Scott mock neck mini swoosh uh, long sleeve. Got this at the bins, uh, $34 plus shipping. Yeah. Damn, Natalie's fast. Hey, she nice. thinks she's good. <laughs> she ain't nice. good. Super stretchy, super comfortable. This is, I think, the third one that we sold because we yeah. had a black, a green, and yeah. now this blue one. Yeah, and now we have no more. Got it. That means we got to go to the bins. <laughs> Next up, we got a champion full zip up me. hoodie. Yes. We got this from Salvation Army. I think it was $1.99 and we decided to self tie dye it. We got $30 plus shipping from the buyer. It's pretty neat. And it was so fun to make. Me and Natalie do this sometimes on some blank sweatshirts. Um, and that should be, it's a size small. Boop. Very easy to spot. Can you spot the other tie-dyes we did? <laughs> <laughs> and last but not least, we have this basketball with the mini swoosh center check. Uh, this one, 15 plus shipping. Uh, we got this from the bins, so not much into it and good profit. Let's see. Ooh. I don't know if it would be here or maybe it would be here. Because it's like a light sweatshirt. Yeah. So... Bang, bang. No, it's not. <laughs> Duke. Duke. Damn, the last one's going to give you the, the workaround. Got it. That took five seconds too long. I love, uh, love, wait, love wait. to see piles like this. You these? Yo! But yeah, I just want to state the importance of cross listing. We have Depop, we have eBay, we have Poshmark, we have Mercari, we have Instagram. So start cross listing if you're not already. All right, so we had an amazing weekend. Uh, super excited about it. And if you like this video, please give it a like, maybe a comment, we appreciate it. And then we'll see you guys next time. Support the channel. <laughs> Toodles. <laughs>